If you want to make sure that your WordPress website is properly SEO optimized, I'm going to give you all my best tips and we're starting right now. If you want to transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. How's it going? Welcome. I'm Wes McDowell, a web strategist for The Deep End. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click that little subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you never miss another video you need to succeed online. If you want some good, free, qualified traffic uh, from Google to your website, based on searches that your customers are already performing, you need to give some serious effort to SEO or search engine optimization. And for anyone who is kind of a newbie and unfamiliar with SEO, there are two basic types. One is offsite, which is basically building links from other websites back to your site. And then there's onsite SEO, which is basically doing all that work on your site that signals to Google that, hey, this page is the best match for what people are actually looking for. And if you're like most businesses, I'm willing to bet that your website is probably built on WordPress. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some really specific WordPress website tips to optimize your website in just a few steps, as well as a few pro tips that most people don't really talk about very much that can help you do even better. And I'm telling you, if you follow all these steps and do it right, you can probably increase your rankings by the end of the day. Before we jump in, just a few things to keep in mind. So when I talk about optimizing your site for search, what I'm really talking about are optimizing individual pages for individual search terms, not optimizing your entire site for just a set of keyword phrases. And secondly, the first real step to getting this right is to have those keyword phrases already picked out. And I actually just put out a really comprehensive video about how to pick out your keyword phrases. And if you haven't seen that yet, you can click right up here to access that video. So assuming you already have your keywords picked out, or if you just want kind of a preliminary preview of the whole process, we're gonna go over to the computer where I'm gonna give you, you know, an over the shoulder view of exactly how you can maximize your WordPress SEO with the help of just a few free plugins and some solid copywriting tips. So let's get started. Okay, so this might look familiar. We are basically just logged into the dashboard of uh, a WordPress site. This is a site for a brand new client. Uh, we just launched the site. Uh, there's very little content on it as of yet, so it's a nice clean slate to, uh, to do this demonstration for. So there's really several steps involved in um, a really SEO optimized page or post, and I'm gonna walk you through um, basically all of my best tips here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna install an SEO plugin that's gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting for you, and that's called Yoast SEO plugin. So go down to plugins, uh, on the left column and then go down to add new. And then you're just gonna go into where it says search and you're gonna type in the word Yoast, like toast with a Y. And the first one here is what you're gonna wanna get. Um, you can see it's got over a million active installations. It's pretty much the gold standard for SEO plugins. So uh, go ahead and just click on install now. Once it's installed, click on activate. And once that's activated, you'll see uh, this little icon for it right down here. So whenever you have to do anything for that plugin, that's where you'll find it. But for now, let's go up to uh, posts and uh, add a new post. So within WordPress, you can basically think of any new piece of content you create as one of two things, either a page, which is, think of that as just a page on your website, uh, informational about a product, about a service, the about us page, the contact page, all those good things, and then a post, which is basically think of that as an article or a video or just a piece of content that's more information based. So that's what we're doing here. We're gonna create a post that's meant to be really strong in SEO so that we can be found for a certain keyword phrase back to the website. And since this is an acting related website, let's go ahead and put in an acting related article. Now let's say we did our keyword research and we found the term best online acting classes, and that's the one we wanna rank for. So assuming we have that article, we just wanna fill in the title, and then the text for the actual article itself. Okay, so I've gone, gone ahead and pasted in an article, and this is just copied and pasted from the internet. I'm not planning on actually publishing this. This is just for the purpose of this video. So basically, we've got an article in here, but we're not quite done yet. You know, there's a few things we're gonna wanna pay attention to to really get the most SEO power out of this article. 
And the first is this title. So basically, if this is the keyword phrase we're wanting to rank for, best online acting classes, that's great. But this title, while it's great from an SEO perspective, it's not very exciting and it's not very likely to actually get clicked on even if someone were doing this search. So what I always like to do is take that keyword phrase and then add to it something a little more exciting and a little more uh, clickbaity. There's a few ways to do this, you know, numbers, are always great, you know, like a, a numbered list always works really well. Or do you wanna bring out some kind of curiosity factor or use a power word? So here's how I might rework this title to still keep the keyword phrase, but make it a little more exciting and click worthy. Okay, so I've got the five best online acting classes the stars swear by. You know, we've got uh, the numbered list here. And then we've got, you know, the another element that makes it seem a little more interesting. You know, if these are actually acting classes that your favorite stars actually have taken and love, that makes it a little more exciting. So I'm happy with this title. You know, it's got good SEO and it also has that excitement factor. Now, the next thing we're gonna wanna look at is what's called the permalink. So this is the actual URL that people would click to get to this specific post. And the really important thing here is that it contains that keyword phrase that you're trying to rank for. So in, in this case, we already have that. It did it, it did it for us automatically through that Yoast plugin. So we've got best online acting classes. You don't need to add the extra elements to the URL. The shorter this is, the better. So I'm really happy with it just the way it is. Despite what some SEO experts say and even what Google says, having those keywords in the URL really does still matter. It's just one of the main indicators that tells Google, okay, that's exactly what this page is about. In fact, it's so much about this, that is the actual name of the page. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the copy of the article itself. So basically what you wanna do is have a really nice long article with about 2,000 words or more. Um, and notice how this is all broken up into really short paragraphs, bolded text, headlines, bullet lists, whenever possible. Um, that's all the stuff that's gonna make people wanna keep reading, and that's really important, because if you get people to your article or your page and people leave it right away, that's a big signal to Google that, hey, maybe this page isn't so good, and they're gonna start ranking your, your page lower and lower in the rankings, which is the opposite of what you want. So you want it to be very easy to read, which means short paragraphs, really broken up, really skimmable. That's the word I want you to remember, skimmable, because um, most people skim a website rather than read it. Actually, one thing I do want to mention here, notice how we've got this, this long, long article here, which is great for SEO, but guess what it's missing? It's missing images. And studies have really shown that, that pages and posts with images in them tend to rank a whole lot higher in searches. So what we're gonna wanna do is probably break this up even more with a few good images. And the way you do that is just put the cursor uh, where you wanna put the image and then go right up top to where it says add media. And then you'll just go ahead and drag the image onto the screen. And then here's what you wanna do. Go down where it says alt text. You're gonna to wanna to use that keyword phrase that you wanna rank for again. So in this case, it was best online acting classes. Now it's important to remember if you are gonna be inserting multiple images, which you should, um, you shouldn't be just reusing that same keyword phrase over and over again. It seems a little spammy. So maybe on the, the next one, you would just wanna use uh, best acting classes or best acting classes Los Angeles, something like that. You're, you're gonna wanna vary it up and use keywords that are closely related, but not exactly the same. So I'll just quickly change that back to best online acting classes and just click on insert into post. Okay, now we would wanna do that a few more times. And then we are gonna come back down to this Yoast area down here, where it basically allows you to change the, the title and the description that people are gonna see in the search engines. When, think about whenever you do a search, this is exactly what you see. So it allows you to change uh, this text and this text. And obviously we wanna change it to be something as clickable as possible. So let's go back to here. So what would we wanna do here? We would definitely, so basically the way the WordPress theme works here is it automatically adds all this extra stuff to the end of the post. So we wanna get rid of that. 
So an SEO title down here basically gives us all the different elements that it's using, like site title we don't want, so we're just gonna go ahead and delete that. Uh, separator we don't need, that's I think the little hyphen right there, let's get rid of that. Now we're good, now we've got title and page, and that's really all we need there. And then for meta description, what it usually does is it's just gonna kind of pull in either the first sentence or the first, you know, however many characters from the article, or it might find a little snippet from within the article that uses the exact keyword phrase that the person used to search. We don't want any of that. We want to really control what it says to make it seem as interesting as possible. And what I like to do here usually is give a little bit of insight as to what exactly you're going to learn from this article. You can either do that or if it's not so much an article and just like a product page or a services page, talk about the main benefits of that service or product. Okay, so I just changed it to ever wonder how your favorite actors keep their acting skills sharp while working on set or away from home. These five acting classes are their go-tos. Um, I think this is really good at playing on that curiosity factor. And it kind of goes into the promise of the article, which is to introduce the reader to these five online acting classes. Okay, next we're going to go down a little further to where it says focus key phrase. This is where you kind of do a little bit of a reality check and see how good this page really is at using that keyword phrase that you want to be found for. So let's go ahead and click on that. And in focus key phrase, we're going to type in the, the keyword phrase that we're talking about, which is best online acting classes. And it gives us a little happy face here, which is a good start. And then it gives you a few things you can change. So basically it gives you some problems. So in this, in this case, um, the, key, the key phrase or synonyms did not appear in the first paragraph. So that's something we could go back up and add to. And it also says the keyword key phrase density is low. Um, it was found three times. So it's basically saying you might wanna use it a few more times in the article. And then it goes on to say um, the key phrase is in the title, but it's not at the beginning of the title. That's something I might think about changing, but not in this case, because I think if we were to uh, put that right at the beginning, it would lose out a little bit of that excitement clickability factor. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna agree to disagree with this uh, improvement they're suggesting. I think it's better the way it is. And then it gives you all the, the stuff you did right, you know, outbound links, internal links, uh, length, all that good stuff. I'm not going to go through all of it, but basically all in all, it's a pretty good score for this article. So I'm just going to go all the way up to the top and I'm going to go ahead and click publish. But maybe you have a bunch of posts or pages already written that you really want to improve those uh, titles and descriptions like down here. Maybe that's some low hanging fruit you can use to really kind of up the game up the game on all of your other posts. So if you want to do that, there is actually a really easy way to do that kind of all at once, rather than having to go in to each individual page to do it. And that uh, involves just going over to the left column under SEO and going to tools and then going over to bulk editor. So what this allows you to do, so depending on what tab you're on, it can be title or description. It allows you, it goes through all your pages and it allows you just to really quickly add a new uh, SEO title to each page at once. And then you can either click save to that individual one or you can click save all after you've gone through and made all the improvements you want. And then you would go do the same thing in description. It allows you to type in a new meta description and you can make that text box a little bit bigger. Um, and once you're done, just click save all. Okay, but before we wrap this video up, I do wanna show you one extra plugin, it's also free, that can help you in another way. So one of the major things of SEO is actually having in good internal linking within your website. And when you really do this right, let's say you have a post about one topic, and then it mentions the phrase, you know, best acting classes in that post. Ideally, you would want that text to link to the article that we just wrote that's all about best online acting classes. So the more you can do that within the content of your site and link from one page to another, the more you're signaling to Google what each page is about and you're likely to get much higher rankings to all of those pages, which in turn helps your whole site out. So um, there's a really easy tool you can use to, to do this. So what we're gonna do, is just go back down to plugins and add new and we're going to do a search for mentionable okay so that one comes right up so 
basically it allows you to really easily do this internal linking. So I'm gonna click on install now and then on activate. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and make a new post. Let's say we're at creating a second post on that same site. So let's just say this is a brand new article and then what we've got here is we've got a line that says the best online acting courses. So we might wanna to link to that. So let's just type in the word related and then what we'll do is we'll do the at sign and just start typing in a keyword phrase and it's gonna come up with that. And if there's multiple, you know, this is a very small site at this point, so in, on another site or on your site, there might be multiple articles to choose from and they would all come here. So let's just go ahead and click that and it automatically uh, posts a little link right there. So that's just one more really easy way to improve the SEO on your WordPress site. Okay, so I know that was a lot to cover, but I hope you can start to see that with, you know, a little bit of research and creating some great content, you can really start to improve those search rankings in about a day. So to get started with this, I would say just pick out a few um, of your more important pages or posts on your website and start applying these steps to them. And of course, with every new page or every new article you write, you're gonna wanna apply all this in real time as you go. But now I wanna hear from you. So if you got something really useful out of this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you have any extra tips or questions or anything related to any of this, just leave it in the comment section below. I will look at everything and I'll answer any questions that I possibly can. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, you're gonna to wanna to click the little circle icon right down here so you never miss another video. We do two a week here. And if you haven't accessed my free mini course yet, how to guarantee website ROI, you're gonna to wanna to get that by clicking this box right over here. All right, guys, I'm Wes McDowell for The Deep End. I'll see you next time.